Hi there. My so name is Vermin Supreme. I'd like to thank you once again for your very principled endorsement this election season. So I have the honor of being with Vermin Supreme on the eve of the election, November 5th, here in Manchester, New Hampshire. It's election eve, and soon the great ballot box will come down from the sky and come to the most beautiful polling station. And if we are there, it will bring democracy to all the good citizens. And with democracy, one of the things that we might be expecting if Vermin Supreme was to be a successful candidate is the mandatory toothbrushing law. Yes, sir. With the mandatory toothbrushing law, the American Dental Association has in the past endorsed a thrice daily uh, toothbrushing uh, recommendation. Yes. Though more recently it's been reduced to twice daily. Yes. Uh, under Vermin Supreme's presidency, what, what will exactly be the enforcement level of brushing? Will it be daily, twice, thrice? Well, once again, you know, one should not be fooled by the misinf misinformation that is being perpetuated by false teeth profits. This mandatory toothbrushing law is not about the secret dental commandos knocking down your door at 3 a.m. to make sure you have brushed. It is not about the secret dental police. It is not about the dental re-education centers. It is not about the preventive dental maintenance detention facilities. Nor is it about the computer dental chip implants in your teeth to keep track of you and your children for your safety. It is not about the government issued toothpaste containing an addictive yet harmless substance. Nor is it even about the DNA gene splicing to create a race of winged monkeys to act as tooth fairy enforcers. What this mandatory toothbrushing law is really about is strong teeth for a strong America. Thank you. I'm Vermin Supreme. Will there be in the need for a new three-letter acronym uh, agency to enforce the toothbrushing? I believe yes, and that might be the FDI, the Federal Dental Inspectors. Do you believe that water picks are effective, or do they just push the plaque into the teeth further? I haven't read all the scientific studies, so I don't want to uh, commit one way or another. I don't want to be perceived as a flip-flopper. Um, and once again, I don't want to give any commercial endorsements uh, at this time. Once again, of course, tartar control now will negate the need for crowd control later. And aren't water picks just sort of like big water cannons spraying away protesters uh, from the gum line of the street? I think they are. So, uh, some of your naysayers have been saying that... Uh, <laughs> I get it. Naysayers! Targeting the fact that brushing the teeth does not always do much to prevent bad breath from forming because sometimes the plaque is on the, the, uh, the tongue. That's true. Will your presidency address that issue at it all? It certainly shall. I, I believe that uh, mouth rinses will be all the rage. Um, I believe many beverages will uh, have uh, breath freshening capability. Um, of course, uh, a lot of people want to know about the flossing issue. Uh, is America ready for a flossing amendment? And I don't believe that they are. Um, I believe that it would certainly pass the House, uh, but I don't see it passing the Senate anytime soon. So it, it will have to be incremental. And one final question. Crest, yes. Colgate, or third-party paste? Uh, Government-issued toothpaste containing an addictive yet harmless substance. Yes. Thank you, Vermin. Best of luck tomorrow in the Thank race. you. And whatever you do, don't go in there. It's a trap. You'll never be allowed to go out. Yeah, they bring you in with Kid Rock, but they're going to have to listen to Romney! Romney! Romney, I tell you!